Residents along the Klipra Fear in Klip Town spent a fitful night praying the heavy downpours don't destroy their dwellings. Everything is soaking wet from the rain. We had to use these big bricks to put the furniture so that it dries away from the wet floor. They've accused the government of not doing enough to provide them with adequate housing. It's not the place where you can feel comfortable. You understand? When it started to come rain, it's where now you started to panic, panic and, you know, somebody started to have a, a problem now. It's, what should I do now? Because now rain is coming. Hey, you know, started to have a problem. You so, so it's too much, you know. Sometimes it's get into the shake, ne? And we wait if the rain stops. The water get inside the shack and we use our bucket to give to give to get the uh, the water outside. Yeah. And it's hard for us. Sometimes we lose our ID and our clothes, everything. It's we start from the scratch. In Alex along the Yuxke River, residents are keeping a close eye on the rising water levels. Emergency services say they will evacuate residents along the banks if the situation doesn't improve. We have been uh, giving them information uh, about the rising water levels and how dangerous it is. But we do know that with incidents that we've had in this uh, uh, town, uh, um, in, in Alex, people do get worried about their belongings. When it's time for them to move to a place of safety with the NGOs that we work in that have a place where they can stay for a while, they'll, they'll say they're worried about their belongings and uh, they wouldn't want to leave them to be stolen. But we have told them that but in case the water rises to an abnormal level, would have to force everybody to move up so that they are in a place of safety. In Zanspreit, heavy rains lashed the area with emergency personnel on high alert. We are monitoring all seven regions of the city, especially our low-lying areas, our informal settlements, since we know that those will be the hardest things when we have uh, wet weather conditions like the ones we have now. So we're urging all our residents in our uh, informal settlements to make sure that they monitor the water levels in those areas, try and avoid crossing, uh, you know, river streams, monitor young kids to stay away from uh, drainage systems so that we can be able to prevent drowning incidents. On Monday, the M1 double-decker bridge was closed to traffic as a result of flooding. While part of the N1 at the Mariasburg off-ramp and Clip Sprayed Valley Road in Soweto were also affected. 18 people were injured after a bus and a truck collided on the Golden Highway as heavy storms lashed the area. One man was struck by lightning on a farm in Ilansfontein, while a woman was struck and killed in Malville. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Johannesburg.